Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can run any iOS personal shortcut from this Flick smart button. Trigger text messages, open apps, run intercom messages on all your HomePods, and so much more. Basically, any shortcut that you can create on your iPhone or iPad can be triggered by this little button. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it today. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy Apple home smart home with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. One of the questions that I get often is, Shane, how can I make my HomeKit button trigger a personal shortcut to run? Or how can I make a HomeKit sensor or any HomeKit accessory trigger a personal shortcut? And the short answer is, well, you can't. But essentially, smart buttons like this really can only trigger home shortcuts and automations, not personal shortcuts and automations that run on your iPhone. If I've already kind of lost you and you really need a breakdown of the differences between personal shortcuts and automations versus home shortcuts and automations because there is a difference, check out this video. I'll put a link right up here that will explain all of that in detail. If you're still with me, you probably know how incredible it would be to have the ability to trigger any of your personal shortcuts with a smart button. Now it won't work with just any smart button. It does have to be one of these flick buttons because these have a little extra functionality built in when compared to you know your typical smart button. With this option, you're not tied to just your house. You can put these little buttons anywhere and even carry them with you if you want. You can have them trigger your personal shortcuts really anywhere as long as your iPhone is around. So that's that opens up a lot of possibilities. I'm gonna show you how to set this up, but first, a word from today's sponsor, Trend Micro, which is what I use to protect all of my devices against malware, viruses, ransomware, and other threats. Their premium security suite can be used on up to 10 devices. You can use this for added protection on all of your family's devices, iPhones, iPads, laptops, PCs, you name it. It also has a VPN feature that turns any public hotspot into a secure Wi-Fi connection, which is really important to have, especially when you're out there traveling and stuff using those public Wi-Fi networks. You also get access to other tools like identity theft protection, parental controls, and even 24 seven emergency assistance. Check out the link in the description for 10% off your purchase of the premium security suite. And big thanks to Trend Micro for protecting all of my devices and for sponsoring today's video. All right, you only need a few things to do this. You will need obviously at least one flick button and your iPhone, and you will also need a Bluetooth keyboard. So this keyboard is just for the setup process. Once it's set up, you won't need the keyboard anymore. I have a personal shortcut on my iPhone that triggers my movie time home kit scene. It also sends an intercom message to all of the home pods in the house that says, it's movie time, grab some popcorn and join us in the living room. Puts my iPhone in a focus mode that I call personal. This is the focus mode that I usually use when spending time with the family to reduce you know, notifications and distractions and things like that from my phone. The shortcut also wakes my Apple TV in the living room and opens up Netflix. And again, you can send text messages, emails, get calendar events, so many things you can do with personal automations you can't do with home automations. Okay, so real quick recap, we have a personal shortcut that can only be triggered from our phone currently. Now we need to configure this flick button to run that shortcut. All right, first you'll need to enable full keyboard access in the accessibility options on your iPhone. Go to settings, keyboards, full keyboard access, turn this on. Then below in the command section, scroll down to your shortcuts. Here you should see all of the personal shortcuts that you have created. All right, so at this point, you'll have to use an external keyboard connected to your iPhone over Bluetooth so that you can program certain keystrokes to run a shortcut. 
You can see I have already programmed a uh, start my day shortcut with a command one keystroke. I don't think there is a way to do this without that external keyboard. So luckily I have the Logitech MX mechanical mini keyboard for Mac right here that I'm gonna use. Now go ahead and find the shortcut in the list that you want to control, tap on it, and now you can input a keyboard shortcut. So enter the key combination on your keyboard that you want to, uh, that you want to use. Next, let's open up the Flick app and let's add a new Flick button to my iPhone. Make sure you are in the Phone tab and not in the Hubs tab. Tap on your new flick. Oh yeah, I should also mention you can program a single click, a double click, or a long click or long press for this to all run different shortcuts. So I didn't even mention that earlier. Pretty awesome. So essentially one button can trigger multiple shortcuts by utilizing those different actions. For now, let's go ahead and tap single push, scroll all the way down to flick universal. Tap keyboard command, choose space bar, then tap add and select make universal. Now set a second delay command and set it to 500 milliseconds. Finally, add a third keyboard command. This is the one that we set earlier in the full keyboard access settings. Again, if you recall, mine was command two. I'll select the modifier command button, then the number two, tap add. Lastly, tap save and disconnect. Now, once you save and disconnect, you cannot configure the button in the Flick app anymore without deleting it and setting up the button again. So you'll probably wanna go ahead and save your single press, double press, and long press you know, actions or whatever before doing that if you plan to use those actions. You can go ahead and like set the keystrokes and then you can go in there and kind of configure your shortcuts and the keyboard access settings uh, later if you want to. Now let's go to the Bluetooth settings of your iPhone and look for the new Flick device listed under other devices. Tap on it to add it. And now you're all set. Now we can use our flick button to trigger our personal shortcuts on the phone through this kind of workaround accessibility feature. So your iPhone does not even need to be unlocked or anything like that for this to work. As you can see, this really opens up a ton of possibilities. Run any shortcut. Of course, you will wanna utilize shortcuts that don't require any type of feedback or anything like that. But you can now use these flick buttons anywhere with your iPhone to trigger your personal shortcuts. No need to be tied to a Flick Hub or even your HomeKit Hub or anything like that. Just your Flick button and your iPhone. It's movie time. Grab some popcorn and meet in the living room. Now, credit where credit is due. Francesco from Italy gave me this idea and explained how he's using a flick button to run personal shortcuts. This was actually one of the submissions for the viewer automations video that we did recently here on the channel. I'll put a link to that down in the description below if you wanna check that out. But I thought that this concept here was just so clever and it was a little bit more complicated, so I thought it deserved its own video. Francesco is using his flick button to activate a switch bot that pushes a door opener on an intercom unit. And by doing it this way through a personal shortcut, he can use the flick button outside and doesn't need to be connected to his flick hub. All he needs is his flick button. Thanks to Francesco for this great suggestion. Please, everyone, do comment below. Let's share some ideas. What personal shortcuts would you use a flick button to trigger? I can't wait to hear them. I will put links also to the flick buttons down below if you wanna pick some of these up if you don't have any. Thanks again to Trend Micro for sponsoring today's video. Hit the link below and use my code to save 10% on the Trend Micro Premium Security Suite. Thanks so much for watching and sticking with me today. I know we kinda got a little deep into the weeds with this one, but man, 
I do think it was worth it. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions or just want to hang out and talk smart home stuff and home kit, all that good stuff, join me every Wednesday for live streams right here on YouTube. Hit the little bell thingy down there so you get notified next time I go live. And uh, until then, I'll see you in the next one.